In the previous section, we have seen useful application concepts, built and improved our application skeleton. In this new section, we are going to play with the MySQL database. We will learn some basic syntax to continue building on our application. We will learn how to use PDO and Doctrine for interacting with the MySQL database. In this video, we are going to learn how to define a table schema and how to use the MySQL command line to perform queries. SQL means Structured Query Language, and MySQL is the most popular open source database. With MySQL, we can create databases and tables. We can insert, select, update, and delete data. We will use the database to store our application data, such as users, comments, and posts. The first step is to define a table schema with tables and data types. For example, we could define a user table composed by emails and passwords. To make each user unique, it is important to define a unique primary key. A primary key is an index that speeds up queries, searches, and sort requests. After this brief introduction, we are ready to dive in deeper in our first schema definition. The data type for the ID can be set like an integer. SQL supports several types for integers. Tiny int, small int, medium int, int, and big int. In our application, the type int will be sufficient. For the email and the password, we can use a string representation from char, var char, binary, var binary, blob, text, enum, and set. In our case, var char will be enough. Let's define the email like a character of 100 characters and the password as a char of 255 characters. At this point, our SQL syntax to create the table schema might be like the one displayed on the slide. Now, it's time to enter in our Docker MySQL container and play with the database. Let's open the terminal, and if you don't have any running container, you can use Docker Compose Up MySQL to start the MySQL. With Docker PS, we see the list of all running containers. To enter in the MySQL shell of our Docker container, we can run docker exec ti containers name bash. Just as a quick recap, in the docker compose yaml, we define a database user called dev, mydb as a database name, and 123456 as a password. At this point, let's log in MySQL with MySQL U dev P and enter the password, and we are in the MySQL console. First, let's switch to our MySQL database with the use statement and run the query we have seen before to create the table. To insert an element in the table, we can use the insert statement in this way. Because of the table schema, the ID will be automatically assigned. Let's perform another insert just to have a couple of rows. Now, we can fetch some data with the SELECT statement. To show all the fields, we can use the STAR notation. To show a specific user, we can add a condition with the WHERE statement. In this way, we can only see the email of the user with ID 1. To update the email of user with ID 2, we can use the UPDATE statement, like that. Deleting a user by email can be formed with the delete statement in this way. You can find more information about MySQL statement on the official website. Now, just to clean up our database, we can remove the table and all its data with drop table user.